Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth installment in my new video series about Duelists, produced in partnership with Counterplay Games. Today I want to talk about a few concepts that are fundamental to playing Duelists, and talk about how these ideas can help you get an advantage in your games. The first thing I want to touch on is movement and positioning. These are the concepts that really separate Duelists from other collectible strategy games, and because of that, can be a source of difficulty for players who come to Duelists from those games. The main drivers of positioning in the early game are the Mana Spring Tiles. The bonus mana granted by these tiles can provide a significant early boost to the player who secures them, so a lot of the early action in the game often revolves around them. As the first player, you don't have access to any of the mana spring tiles on your first turn, but you'll usually want to move your general and deploy your first minion in a position where it can move on to one of them on turn 2. As a result, the most common sequence we see from most players when they go first is moving their general forward and placing a minion on one of the forward diagonal spaces. As the second player, you have the ability to move forward and immediately claim a mana spring tile if you choose. You also have access to 3 mana instead of 2, which increases your options in the first turn significantly. Often, the player who goes second will play one minion that costs 2 mana on the mana spring tile in front of them, which provides the bonus mana to play a second 2 cost minion as well. You'll frequently want to position this second minion on a space that can access the mana spring tile your opponent cannot immediately move on to the following turn. After the mana spring tiles are all taken, positioning revolves around the minions and generals on the board, as well as cards you might be looking to play or cards you suspect your opponent might play. It's a big topic, and we'll certainly come back to it another time. The other mechanic that sets duels apart from most other collectible strategy games is Replace. While many other games allow you to mulligan cards in your opening hand, the ability to do so every turn of the game is unusual and provides an extra element of strategy and decision making. At the beginning of the game, you're usually looking to replace any cards that doesn't fit what you're planning to do the first few turns. High cost cards are an obvious example, but this can also include situational cards, like spells or artifacts that you don't necessarily want to play early in the game. As the game goes on, your replace decisions become more dynamic based on what's happening on the board. As a general rule of thumb, you usually don't want to replace a card that you think you might want to play within the next two turns, unless you really need to dig for something to play right now. You shouldn't feel like you have to replace a card every turn. Sometimes you're better off holding onto something good rather than trying to dig for the perfect card. If you do choose to replace, you should usually do so before you take your other actions for the turn, because you want to have as much information as possible while making your decisions. The last concepts I want to touch on briefly are the ideas of tempo and card advantage. These are principles that experienced collectible game players are probably familiar with, but their application to duelists may require some rethinking. In broad terms, tempo means having an advantage in terms of presence on the board. This can mean having more minions than your opponent, or having more powerful minions. Because minions can attack one another in Duelist, tempo advantage can be crucial, so you usually want to aim toward making plays to stay ahead on the board. Card advantage means gaining an edge in terms of options available to you. This can happen through removing multiple opposing cards with a single card, forcing your opponent to spend several cards to deal with one of yours, or simply by drawing extra cards. Both of these concepts function somewhat differently in Duelist than in other games due to the nature of generals. Because generals have a built-in attack value and can thus kill opposing minions on both offense and defense, they can contribute to both tempo and card advantage at the cost of their health total. Because damage stays on both minions and generals, it's important to value their health as a resource. One of the most common mistakes new players make in Duelist is simply attacking with everything every turn. If your minion gets damaged attacking the enemy general, it can be easier for your opponent to kill it on their turn, and it might not be in play when you need it to help deal with an opposing minion in the future. Thankfully, Duelist has great tools for players looking to improve. Within your profile, which you can access via the main menu screen, you can find your match history. This will show the results of your last 10 games, as well as give the ability to replay them so you can look for places to improve. You can also watch completed games of other players on the ranked ladder, which may give you ideas to improve both your decks and your play. Hopefully this video helped give you some fundamentals that you can build upon as a Duelist player. These are certainly concepts that we will be coming back to in future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.